Hello everyone, Jeff here, and today we're going to be checking out the one year anniversary of Soulstone Survivors. Now, a lot of you probably don't know this. In fact, I'd be surprised if anyone does. Uh, this is actually the second game I played on this channel after Brotato, um, and I had quite a few, uh, a few videos that did pretty well. The problem was at the time, I didn't like the balance at the highest difficulties. Um, I've popped in a few times since just to see what happens happen what has happened in updates and not whatnot i know they've added a lot of skills and stuff but um i haven't played in a few months so i signed in today and i saw they updated the skill tree into um this which if you saw the previous skill tree it wasn't this so each character has their own skill tree and they get points based on what level they are and then unlocks meta progression for the character and all characters and additional skills before it used to just be this just this so they added everything on the outside um they've also changed the rune system uh i believe that's of this patch if i read the patch notes correctly to where now you get three runes from this top part that don't cost any rune points um and then you get um four from the bottom row but they do cost points so you don't have to balance it now i played this game quite a bit um Again, I haven't really gotten any achievements since, let's say, no December of last year, which I was at almost 100% achievements. I think the only one I was missing was, like, was kill 500,000 enemies, really, because I just didn't feel like finishing it off. But, yeah, so let's take a look at it, see where we're at. Um, I'm not going to go over the skill tree. Look, it's not insanely complicated. A lot of these things are passive bonuses, but some of them have actual effects and some of them add skills. And some of them, like these blue, um, like outline ones, like these, are applied to all characters, so they're kind of important with the stars and whatnot. Anyways, um, I also need to craft some weapons. So what we're gonna do, I think, is pick a character who I am low level on, which you can tell the level by, well, the big number here i was gonna say by the stars but i guess that so we got my barbarians 118 paladins 110 my assassin 67 necker 63 ew my helician here is 30 that's gross um arcane so you know what let's just try legionnaire let's try the one of the least care least enjoyable characters i thought previously and see what he's like now uh, they've also updated how everything works so you can like see stuff better. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. So we need more emeralds. So we got to go to the caves of Dalzog. But also before we do that, we need to select this character. That's important. And then we got to go to the skill. We got to go to the runes, not skill tree. And we're going to actually equip him with stuff. So let's give him increased materials. So we have to pick any three of these and then I'm going to give him. I think are we allowed to give that him that one It's supposed to be start with a special skill. I don't know if this weapon had one, but I assume it does. Um, th this is a cool thing. It basically lets your character have access to everything, but it's probably not super effective. Uh, um, all your randomly targeted area of effect things are now targeting your position instead. That seems pretty good. I'm just going to take the extra reroll. It's not that important. And then for the damage stuff, it's kind of what these are. You just kind of like what spec you want to be. I'm not really sure because it's been so long since I played, right? Lord's Bane seems incredible. If you're falling behind uh, the Void Lords or like the bosses that you have to get through. Uh, so I, I, that seems like an obvious one to me. Uh, extra four dives for every different type of negative effect you apply. I think you always want to apply every negative effect, if I remember correctly. It maybe she's changed now. I don't know. Recover 15 health for every hundred enemies killed. There was always a thing where you like has struggle with that, so maybe that's important. There's so many choices now, and I still have like there's a lot of more unlocks down there used to be. Um, every time you apply bleed or him, okay, maybe we can like do some bleed stuff. So this is Legionnaire 1. You've also, they didn't used to have this. Now we have like five slots for each class. And there's, what, 12, 14 classes? I don't know, it's pretty sweet. 
All right, so let's uh, try out Legionary. He's only 30. Now, I will say one other thing. My biggest problem with this game at the time was I thought dif max difficulty seven was just not fun. You could do it. It just wasn't an enjoyable time. There's too much BS on the screen. Not a fun time. So what I'm going to do is we're going to since it's been so long. We're just going to play on curse five. Oh, 34 curse levels. It's a decent thing. So we've got this game has an active dodge. You can go and look over all your stuff here. This shows all of the things and it has tool tips. I love that. I love that. Um, they updated this like heavily. Um, this used to be not as obvious, the damage stuff as far as like debuffs and what it does. I will say I'm not a fan of the font. I wish the font at the bottom part for the stats were a little bit was uh, bigger for my eyes, but I'm old and summon infantry is our skill. OK, sure, whatever. So we got some summons. Oh, look at that. We do have some summons. But yeah, so if you haven't seen this game before, it is, you know, it is a horde survival. But it is a. Chaotic, fast paced horde survival. That gets out of hand very quickly. I'm actually going to hoard. Uh, actually, I'm not going to. I was going to save a level up. OK, sure. I will take a legendary power up. So this is going to increase all of our melee power, our physical things tagged with physical by 50 percent, um, which is pretty good. We also have two revives here. That's just from like meta progression stuff. Uh, I don't think we should need it for this. But the game also has like a semi endless mode and like other challenge modes, depending on how fast you clear the wave. So there's cool things. Looks like all of the areas have unique. Um, unique enemies now, it used to be all the same enemy. So we've got double electric stuff going on right now. I wonder if we. What if we just go full electric legionnaire? So this game ha has a system where some of the power ups you can get are like all your electric skills get plus, you know, a bonus that might have only gone to one skill based on what you have. So are not, you know, not just electric. All right, so then we'll take fragility. It's extremely good. I don't know if it's still good, but it used to be the best thing in the game. You would stack fragility with like beams and it would just win that and like berserker. But again, it's been nearly a year since I've played like paid attention and we just got eight levels. So I'm gonna take a magnet. These things don't have electric, huh? Neither of these chaos golem. I don't remember it having taunt. And when you hover over, it shows you what types that are at the bottom. I, I do like all this. Oh, we did want bleed. Let's take flurry. I kind of like flurry. Um, I'm gonna take another magnet this early. I'll take lethality bloodlust. Um, Bloodless change. This used to be based on bleed, right? Now it's just. You attack faster. I got nerfed. I mean, it needed to. It was incredibly broken before. I'm going to take another magnet. That might be excessive, but whatever. I don't want these. I want a lightning spell of some kind. Thunderclap. Don't mind if I do. Is this an optimal strategy I'm doing? Not at all. I'm just taking spells I want. There's tons and tons and tons of spells in this game. You can also have it to where you automatically, you know, you level up every time it dings, but I feel that interrupts the flow of gameplay too much. Um, we already have touch of ice, so we don't need that. I'm just going to take expansive. I'm going to skip but turn off active skills. Multicast. Multicast does exactly what you think it does. Um, take Venomous because we want to spread out our stuff. Ass speed. OK. Yeah, this seems fine. Yeah, and now there's like a bunch of weapons to craft, a bunch of more weapons to craft. When it started, there was only like one per character, or like maybe two. Now I think there's four for each each class. 
I think the game's fully released. I don't know. It's been a year. Feel like it's fully released. They're still constantly upgrading, updating it though, so it's a nice, it's a nice thing. That is just a white tiger. Um, 10% crit chance, 10% move speed. That's fine. I should probably be banishing the stuff I don't want, but I'm, you know, it, like I said, it's been a long time since I played. But I, I do really, historically, I really enjoyed this game. Like I said, the only thing I didn't like is the max difficulty and the like visuals became kind of wonky, especially at max difficulty. You just really couldn't see anything. Now you can turn them down, but then that like that feels bad. So I don't know. I think they're better than they used to be. It used to be like really rough. Um, I'm going to take 20% multicast on all my skills. <laughs> and then chain lightning damage. I don't think spell levels do anything. They might. I, I remember it being a thing like what does spell levels do? That was like a question in the, the game Discord for a while on the forums. Like, what the hell does spell levels do? And previously, it was just a rep, uh, representation of, like, how much power you put into each individual skill. Um, and you see, sometimes you get bolts of experience when you kill a Void Lord like that. Uh, and we'll take this. Whenever you apply Dazed, which all the lightning skills apply Dazed. Are disoriented, you may apply burn as well. Yes, please. Bloodless potency, thunderclap. Yes, yes, all of these things are good. Take a doom. AoE is fantastic in this game. Some damage. Um, I'm gonna banish this because I don't want to walk slower. Um, I'm gonna take the other magnetic. I was tempted to banish it, but I'm not going to. So yeah, if you look at the objectives in the top right, again, I'm trying to, it's like a, I don't know, to people who it's their first time, which you may have missed it since it's been a year since it's been out, but um, it is one of the better Survivors games. In the top right, you basically have to kill as many monsters as it says in the bottom uh, bar, and it'll summon the elites. So the waves can go as fast as you kill everything and the, op the the way to kill things as fast as possible is actually assuming it hasn't changed of course is and I guess it just depends on the map but typically it was standing in a corner like you would stand over here and enemies would just spawn on you and you just kill everything from there that was the optimal way to play I like to move around um let's take damage let's take ooh, more more legionnaires I guess I mean, like, yeah, I could go over every one of my picks, but this would take forever. So, yeah, we're just going to pick up stuff. Uh, there's also these towers here. I, they're difficulty like four, I think, additions. They'll drop stuff on you. It's annoying. So you have to go around and kill them. That's why that's the thing to keep you from staying in a corner. <laughs> um, let's take the first one of those. Multicast, more fragility, block power, eh, you know. I don't plan on like trying to push endless here, so I don't think we really need to like worry about defenses too much. Even though I did just like take a hit for no apparent reason. We do have that healing trait active though, every 100 enemies killed. All right, uh, damage, hypothermia, whenever you apply slow, or paralysis. Ooh, what is... I want to see what paralysis is. I didn't know... I don't know, paralysis is new. That didn't used to be there. Oh, double hypothermia? Since when can you level up hypothermia? Well, I guess it's new. That's pretty good. Yeah, it used to be those type of skills were just a one-off. You, like, you gain the ability of, like... I don't know, poison to turn, you know, poison enemies, poisoning enemies can burn enemies or some shit like that, right? And it just kind of cycled around for every status effect. 
I guess now they can stack, so that's really strong. I would think. Also, I think the music's been updated too, because it's kind of jamming right now. I don't remember it being quite this uh, groovy. I hope it's different music for each stage. That'd be pretty neat. And you do kind of have to go to each stage to get your different crafting materials. And you have to play in at least, I think, Danger 5 to get the highest materials, which honestly, Curse Level 5, as you're watching right now, it's not that bad. Obviously, I have a lot of meta progression um, and uh, quite a few hours in the game. But again, I haven't played in like nine months, so. Basically, just avoid the red circles on the ground. Um, I will take 15% attack speed. It seems good. Damage. Multi. Uh, multicast to frontal. Only affects two, but that's good enough. Damage on flurry. I'll just take crit chance up. AoE. Definitely. Uh, crit chance up again. I like that Bloodlust is no longer a bleed based thing. Bloodlust used to be like the most degenerate thing ever, but you had to apply bleed for it to work. So now I guess it's just you just get it. You it likes it used to be like cumulative with bleed stacks up to like a certain ridiculous point. So you just get this bleed build and you just combine it with whatever else you wanted to and it didn't matter. Like you just needed it and another bleed skill that attacked really fast and it synergized with itself because it makes things attack fast. This is very strong. But like, as you can see, so if you play on max difficulty, like difficulty five or difficulty seven or curse level seven or whatever, whatever that's called, you know, the hardest mode, it'll five of the Void Lords will come out every, every time they spawn, which isn't that big a deal. It's just that there's so much on the screen. It gets very, it gets very hectic. So yeah, that's why I, I kind of like to chill at five. I don't think I've finished. I'm pretty sure there's quite a few levels I haven't finished on max, max difficulty, which I kind of should do now. But maybe once this steam fest, bullet heaven fest thing is over. We can get back to it, especially if you guys like the video. And if you do like this video and you want to see more of this game, let me know, because I, I, I'm not entirely opposed to jumping back in. Um, damage. These are all like very medium. It's slow. I'm going to take damage on Thunderclap. But yeah, like I would say that right now we're not even that powerful, but look, we're like we're, we're destroying. We're, you can't even see half the screen right now whenever we thunderclap. I think we also missed the timer. Maybe I don't remember. There was an achievement for under seven minutes or for under eight minutes. But I don't know if that was every class. So that was just one time. I remember having to do that as well. It's hard because like I don't remember stuff from a couple days ago. So nine months is our years asking a lot. Oh, well, we hadn't done time trial. Him, so that's cool. So then you have port. Oh, there's three portals. There's infinite here. I don't know. I think blue is just go home. This is endless. And I think this is like hard mode i don't know let's step into it and see oh um yes please you can actually make the duration go longer than the actual cooldown at which point it becomes very strong oh you can actually like hold it now reach prestige level 40 with legionnaire nice oh so it does that between levels now not there at the very end neat i wonder if our Is there any way to see how much damage our stuff has done mid-wave? Not really. No. Um, I wonder how much our like Legionnaires have actually done. 
and it definitely seems like each map has different uh different music so that's cool i'm in for that we are the lightning legionnaire i'm gonna keep taking frailty frailty is just a really strong it basically just increases the amount of damage enemies take from everything I should probably read it again to make sure it still does that. But assuming that's what it still does, and based on like the way we're clearing things right now. Gangrene. Uh, I want this, but we're gonna take multicast epic here. That's It's kind of too good not to take. And yeah, you can kind of build whatever you want. You can make a summoner, or you can make a... There's a necromancer, there's a, like a druid-type summoner. I think there's a rat build. You can make a whirlwind character, there's a paladin, you can make a spell blade. There's all types of stuff, and you can combine them and do whatever you want to. And that's kind of like the joy of this game. Um, I really hope that at some point they turn this into like an ARPG using all the stuff they've worked on here. All these cool skills. I think that was the original plan they had. Uh, I don't know if that's changed, because I know this game did fairly well. Um, Frailty, okay. Increases all damage received by 18%. So look, each time we do it, it's six stacks. Now, I guess the question is, right, is six stacks, does that mean six stacks of 18% or six stacks of... 3% making 18. I assume that's what it means, right? Um, uh, which does just make it better than everything else. Um, I'm going to banish Magnet. We don't need that anymore. Take the crit. Um, poison's kind of whack. All these things are like kind of... Take a little bit of health, I guess. I don't know. Looks like we need more damage. He says as he murders everything. All right, let's crit chance. Critical strike supply bleed. Yep, sure. Frailty again. Well, we do have the thing that when they're bleeding, right? Yeah, so just like getting constant buff. I think that's what happened. They put Pulse of Agony in to make people feel better about the bloodlust change. If I had to guess. Um, take area. Area really is important. Um, and then look, let's do the thing where, oh, skill breakdown? Oh, it is here. What the fuck? Sorry, I'm in shock. Summon infantry has done the most damage. I'm shocked. Uh, meanwhile, Chain Lightning and Flurry have done uh, nothing. So let's go to settings and graphics, and we're just going to turn down the special effects a little bit. And you should be able to see things a little bit. It basically turns down the opacity for all the skills. So you can see just a little bit clearer. And you, can, if you get really stuck and you're playing like super hard difficulty mode, you can just turn it down all the way where you'll still see enemy stuff, but you won't see your like nonsense going on. Uh, you'll also notice that now there's more enemies coming because we're on a harder difficulty. That's kind of what going through the red portal does. I mean, honestly, I didn't really expect Flurry to do that much damage. It's more so, it's just to, like, trigger effects, activate bleed and whatnot. All right, crit damage is good. I guess we want to upgrade the summon infantry stuff. Oh, area, area multiplier. Insane. Uh, yes, you can multi, you can multicast summons, so that seems good. And more frailty. Uh, multicast everything? Except Chain Lightning? That seems okay. There's a couple things I'd like to see them clean up. 
I see that. Now that they've updated the UI stuff, it seems like some of the stuff doesn't pop like it should. I'll be it. Last time I played this, I was playing on a much smaller screen. So, that I have to like look down now to look at different parts of the screen it might matter a little bit, but that's different. Uh, that's the wrong button. I'm just gonna keep taking frailty. Uh, that, that. Ow, I think we just lost a life. Yeah, we did. That's what happens when you don't take a lot of armor. You get hit for a, a bajillion damage. But also at some point you get hit for so much damage it doesn't matter. Uh, each character is also supposed to have some type of unique skill, but I think Legionnaire was so low that I hadn't actually unlocked his skill yet. I noticed that when I was messing around in the skill tree. Like the Barbarian, for example, enrages after he's like done enough damage. Uh, damage, frailty, obviously. Uh, crit damage has a lot. More frailty. We're getting a lot of crystals, so you need you need these uh, big crystals that the Void Lords drop to uh, spend on the skill tree. Uh, we died to a bomb of some kind. I don't. I honestly don't know. <laughs> uh, but oh, I missed a big buff there. Oh well, it's whatever. I missed a. Uh, Legendary power up. Whoopsie. But yeah, the whole thing is you're just trying to. Uh, I, I mean, if I was pushing, I'd pay a little more attention to the things I was messing with, but like uh, things I was taking, and like I'd banish more stuff and whatnot, but. As it is, I'm kind of chill just letting this run go as far as it goes. Seeing what we unlock and then seeing what we can do after that. I don't want this to be an extremely long video anyway. Uh, Depilating Plague. Poison or Rot can apply Doom? Sure. But yeah, it's one of those things, I feel like enemies do so much damage and it's so hard to avoid everything because there's just a billion things on screen. I don't even know how you're supposed to value balance that and it's just kind of just the way the game is right now, which is fine. It's just, that's kind of the reason I stopped going at it, just because there's too much. Um, all right, that's down. Let's go multicast, bloodlust, rare power, multicast by 24. Or are we just multicast? That, that's fine. You'll see like the, the ones that do specific skills are like more potent, but obviously they don't affect everything. So that's your trade off. That's why having skills with the same tag is generally good, but again, I'm sure there's some completely outrageous builds that people have done by now that don't have anything to do with that. Uh, AoE, crit chance, I guess. If I, if I recall correctly, in this game, you're also allowed to double crit. As in, like, if you have 200% crit chance, you'll just crit twice. And so on and so on. As opposed to the cap just being one crit. Making it an always good stat to have. Uh, take this and this.
Are we actually going to beat the second skull here? Surprising if we do. Definitely surprising. Um, damage reduction on them. Damage on Thunderclap. Here comes the bosses. Seems like there's still just the same number of bosses as there were last time I played, which is fine. There's five of them. They do different things. They're frustrating. It's because the AoEs and their abilities are so large. It's kind of hard to dodge. What am I electrocuting over here? Like, what is happening? Why am I... Is Chain Lightning just chaining that far? Is that what's happening right now? Uh, okay, AoE by 80%, sure. Oh my god. Uh, where are you, Mr. Ice Ice Lord? Are you down that you're down there. Yeah. Um, this and this. We finished. We successfully did it. We could continue on, or we could just leave. I'm just gonna leave because, like, I'm I'm good for now. My eyes are already like, oh my god, Jeff, what did you do? But. But we got some materials and we got him to 60. And I can't help but notice that infantry did way more damage than everything else by a mile. Highest progression with current intensity. Current curse is 515. Match time 17 minutes. 5,000 enemies killed. All right. All right. So then you go to said skill tree, right? And then we find a legionnaire. He's here. Oh, this this is what I did not have because I didn't. Legionnaire can gather materials from fallen enemies to build powerful catapults that can bard and en bombard enemies. Sure. Um. And then you like spend this currency to buff stuff, which you just get a ton of from playing. And you see all these cost points. And then as eventually you unlock the next phase, unlocks the following rune, war tank, increase your block power 50%, but it reduce your dash charges by one. Sure, we unlock it. Increase your maximum health by two on all characters. That's what we're here for. And we're just going to spend all of our stuff on that. He has 13 levels left. Block power goes up. Uh, cast frequency. So these are all like exclusive to him. I'm basically just using ones that don't cost gems. And then that opened up the next thing, which is whenever you collect a major soul stone, gain random materials and gems instead, according to the minerals. Oh, oh, if you don't need the soul stones, you can get the minerals. That's kind of good. I need to play this guy again to give him another level. That's unfortunate. OK, but yeah, that's kind of how it works. And you can like do the same thing with all the characters. So there's a lot here. And then like to unlock this, you need all of these things. To unlock this, you have to reach level 70 and have the stuff. It's a lot, but there's the same thing with all the characters. Like if you just go here, you see like the Death Knight, if you want Winter Sorrow, which is just Frostmourne. Um, <laughs> you need a bunch of rubies and a bunch of gold and all this stuff. I've got all the Demonite, apparently. I just need the common stuff. But anyways, yeah, so that's uh, the update. It looks pretty sweet. There's still a lot of things to 
lot of stuff to unlock, a lot of achievements to do. But anyways, if you like the video and you want to see more, definitely let me know. Um, game's cool. It's out on Steam. I think it's on sale right now, probably, for the one-year anniversary. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. If it's not, sorry for the bad info. But, um, oh, you can... I blew up the cake. I can press the pinata. That's cute. I'm popping the blooms. I love it. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice day. I'll see you later. Jeff out. Bye.